at any one time we may have anywhere from 10 to 15 babies in the hospital that were subjected to a substance in utero, many of whom are withdrawing or have neonatal abstinence syndrome. Um, and typically what happens is these babies are um, stabilized in the neonatal intensive care unit for a day or two and then transferred to the newborn nursery um, where they're then, if they have to be, they're treated with some pharmacologic form of intervention. Over the years we've realized that there are a number of issues associated with this approach. If you have to start pharmacologic therapy, babies may spend up to three or four weeks, sometimes a month or two in the hospital while we're trying to wean them off that pharmacologic um, treatment, um, which increases the length of stay, increases costs, increases the time of separation between mother and baby, etc. The approach to the treatment of these babies should be initially non-pharmacologic. In other words, the, the treatment, and we've seen this recently, the standard of care should be keeping those mothers and babies together as much as possible. So there are many programs throughout this country that are using the mother as the first line of therapy. In other words, they're, they're allowed to breastfeed, they're allowed to stay as long as they can with their babies, holding their babies, rocking their babies, much like what we have to do in the newborn nursery or in the intensive care unit using our own nurses. Um, and if we can focus on that, many times it has been shown that we can perhaps not have to start using medications to treat these babies' withdrawal. It's really just trying to focus on keeping mothers and babies together. Even if we have to use pharmacology, it has been shown that the number, the amount of medication that we have to use is a lot less and that the length of stay in the hospital can be reduced significantly by using um, this approach, the non-pharmacologic approach. It also requires the destigmatization of substance use in pregnancy. In other words, much more of a supportive role for these mothers as they're going through this transition period, especially in the early postpartum period when this baby is, may have some withdrawal. It's a disease, and so, um, you know, smoking is an addiction. Um, Diabetes is a disease entity, and as I was trying to say earlier, if someone misses their insulin treatment or if they're a so-called brittle diabetic and they're, they develop diabetic ketoacidosis, we're not going to stigmatize those people and discharge them from a clinic um, because they miss their insulin dose. Um, it's in the same way, if this mom relapsed because of whatever pressure she's developed from the outside, and has gone back to using more substance before, these are the people that need our help the most, that we need to bring them back to, to compliance. And instead of stigmatizing them and allow them to continue with this habit,